Hello Jaguars! It's time to think about next year's electives. You will be given your course card to fill out, so we'd like to talk about all of your choices for next year. There's a lot of information in this video. If you'd like to view it again, it's on the SSMS website. Your parents may have some questions as well. If they do, go online and show them this video. As you're looking at your course card and choosing your electives, please remember that due to class availability and other limitations, we cannot guarantee that all the elective choices will be scheduled. At Seven Springs, we have a seven period schedule. This includes your four core subjects, English language arts, math, science, social studies. You have two periods of electives and then your one period of your homeroom and lunch. Now let's take a look at what your year-long elective choices are. Currently you're looking at um, some music electives for the upcoming year. And I wanted to remind you about band and a couple of other things. You're looking at band one right now, which is where we teach you how to play a musical instrument of your choice. Band two is for students that took beginning band last year or have been in band for at least one year. Um, this is also a performing ensemble that plays many different instruments and performs at concerts just like band one students in the previous year. Band three is for students that have taken band in the previous two years. You know, of course, that the flute, oboe, bassoon, clarinet, alto saxophone, trumpet, French horn, trombone, tuba, and percussion are all band instruments that you may play in band. Something that band three students enjoy is playing at all of the football games and all of the pep rallies. In addition to playing in advanced band, some students may take advanced band four to learn a secondary instrument with teacher approval. Percussion is an extension of band one for all students that were selected to play pitched and non-pitched instruments such as drums or mallets. This is a class for seventh and eighth graders who have already taken band one. The Steel Drum Band is one of the most prolific performing ensembles here at Seven Springs. We do between 10 and 12 performances a year at various events and it is for students that have a musical background and that would like to explore playing in the steel drum band. It's also known as the Instrument Ensemble One. The orchestra music elective is just like band, as in they get to perform two concerts a year, but it's for students that have learned or are willing to learn the violin, viola, cello, and the double bass. The chorus class is for any student that has been in chorus before or would like to join the chorus. The chorus performs two concerts a year with the steel drum band and also does several mini performances throughout the year. It is for the person who desires to sing in a large group and also for the person who likes to sing solo by themselves. Art 2D Studio One is a seventh grade only class. It is a step up from exploring Art 2D. So now that you have the basic skills, you can kind of work in 2D fashion a lot easier, a lot more advanced work, um, more advanced projects, painting, drawing, anything on a 2D flat surface. When you enjoy art, this is a great class to try. Advanced 2D Studio Art. This will be an extension of what you may have learned in your 2D art class. And you will be learning how to do more with different mediums, lots of different activities and projects and it's going to be very much more self-directed and experience so that when you get to high school you will be ready to show off your artistic abilities and talents. If you're entering eighth grade and you've taken exploring 3D art you might want to take studio 3D art. It is a class that expands on the things you learned in exploring 3D and it takes it that much further to a more advanced level to make some really cool projects in 3D. As you will see on your course card, we offer many high school electives for 7th and 8th graders at SSMS. Some of these classes include leadership, paw pal, digital media, foundations of robotics, and foreign languages such as Chinese and Spanish. Please remember that these courses have requirements in order to select them. Some require an online application and or grade and FSA requirements along with teacher recommendation. These courses are a part of your high school transcript and should be taken very seriously. They are all courses that will remain part of your academic grades when you are applying to college. Please remember that these classes may require a higher level of academic work than a middle school elective course. Ni hao. Ni hao means 
Hello, I'm sure you have learned that from probably from Kailan, but now you have the opportunity to learn that in the Chinese classroom. We have so many fun activities for you. For example, we sing Christmas carols in Chinese. We learn to eat with chopsticks. We celebrate Chinese New Year. We also learn how to use Chinese calligraphy brushes to write Chinese characters. Now, I'm waiting for you in my classroom. 再见 That means goodbye. This class will earn you high school credit. Hola, las clases de español son interesantes y divertidas, a veces. Pero oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You don't know Spanish yet. Well, why are you waiting? Sign up for Spanish now. These classes are for high school credit. Nos vemos. See you soon. Adiós. I'd like to share a little bit about leadership class. If you have a genuine interest in helping others and a strong work ethic, the leadership class may be for you. We spend our time spearheading projects that bring awareness and assistance to those in our schools and local communities. We research various topics and we share information in class presentations. We learn what it means to be a good citizen at the local levels of government. Portions of the class are dedicated to organizational and time management, as well as team building activities. Students in the leadership class also have opportunities to assist special needs students in Special Olympics at various events throughout the school year. If you are a positive thinking, hardworking individual, please fill out the online application to be a member of leadership next year. This class will earn you high school credit. Foundations of Robotics is a high school level course. It's a year long course. In order to apply for this course, you must have already completed or currently be enrolled in Exploration of Robotics. In this course, you will learn how to build and code. Using both Vex IQ and V5 robotic systems, you will learn about artificial intelligence, engineering, machine design, 3D design, and you will also have the opportunity to earn a industry certification in Fusion 360, a 3D design software. Digital media is a follow-up course to Intro to AV Arts. Students enrolling in this course must have taken entry to AV Arts or be simultaneously enrolled. This class is a year-long class, allowing you to explore your creativity in a more advanced setting using Photoshop. If successful in completing this class, you can earn a high school credit along with an industry certification in Adobe Photoshop. We get to learn about photography and how this can be applied into the yearbook. Yes, the yearbook. In addition, we also do the morning news. So if you like to be on camera or behind the scenes, we've got that covered too. Don't forget, have a jaggerific day. The following slides will be your semester elective options. Come join us in the biggest classroom on campus, the gymnasium, for all the fun you can imagine in PE class. In seventh grade, our students study team sports like basketball, soccer, volleyball, and flag football. Our eighth graders study individual and dual sports curriculum like tennis, frisbee golf, badminton, and archery. Let's get your energy level up. Come to PE. For seventh and eighth grade students, we are offering Intro to Dance Technique next year. As an art, dance is a conduit of expression and communication. Students will learn how to dance with joy, passion, and respect for technique and history. Students will explore the diversity of the dance world through learning various dance styles, techniques, and genres in a safe environment. So, if you love the art of dance and want to show your creativity through movement, sign up for this course. And as a reminder, this does count as a PE credit. This is a little bit about the basic theater class offered at Seven Springs Middle School. In this class, you will learn how to play different characters and create new characters. You'll really learn how to make the characters come alive through you. You'll also learn how to do pantomime and how to act in scenes and what it's all about being a director. In addition, you'll work on creating costumes, props, set decorations, and more. So take a look. And hope to see you in class. Creative Writing One is a semester-long course where students write for creative expression, develop personal writing style, and enhance their vocabulary in a variety of literary forms, such as digital writing platforms, plays, 
poetry, and dramatic narratives in individual and collaborative settings. Students can be as imaginative and as creative as possible in this class, and it's always a ton of fun. In 2D art, we explore different mediums to push the boundaries of your creativity. We learn different styles and techniques to enhance your skills. Whether you are a novice or an expert, there is always room for improvement and development. I wanted to let you know about 3D art. It is designed to give a positive experience exploring their own creativity in three-dimensional media, technology, and processes. A variety of mediums will be explored, which may include ceramics, paper mache, wire sculpture, and more. Your creativity will be pushed to achieve noteworthy sculptures. Welcome to Seven Springs Middle School. I teach speech and debate. You might have seen this on the back of your course card, and I'd like to just tell you that there is so much going on in this class every day that will keep you so engaged and you will want to come to class. I have students who took the class two semesters ago and they come back and they ask me, can I come back to your class? And I just love it. You're going to learn not only the art of the argument in competitive debate style format, but you will also learn how to communicate properly with people and effectively. You'll get a chance to overcome any public speaking anxiety that you've ever imagined yourself having. And in the meantime, you'll be having a ton of fun. So I hope that you'll consider signing up for this class because you're gonna learn skills that you will use for the rest of your life. Go Jaguars! Computer Science Discovery is a semester course. This course is for people that are interested in coding but have never coded before. You will learn very basic steps about how machines, computers work, and how they can be coded to do simple tasks. Computer Applications in Business 1, uh, which is a class for 7th graders here at Seven Springs Middle School. Um, this is a class that basically is uh, an introduction to different Microsoft tools that we use, so Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, those types of things, as well as just some, some basic computer skills that you guys are gonna need going forward. So we spend a lot of time talking about uh, basic skills that we're going to need, and then we supplement it with some projects and then some, some fun reviews that we do. So hopefully you guys are interested in CAB 1 for seventh graders. Thanks so much, hope to see you soon. Interested in the field of robotics? This is a great introductory course. In this course, you will uh, learn about technology, how to work in teams, uh, you will learn how to program robots, how to build robots, and get a taste of what it's like to work in the field of robotics. Intro to AV Arts introduces students to Photoshop, focusing on digital designs and creations, video and song editing, along with photography. You will learn about different career paths aligning with these topics, along with the opportunity to advance your skills in a technology-based environment. Exploration of Communications Technology is a semester course. This is for students that want to learn web design, 3D design, how to build social media campaigns using TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and other Web 2.0 technologies like YouTube and SoundCloud. Hello, everybody. Wanted to give you kind of a heads up on a class for eighth graders, which is an introduction to business management and administration. Uh, this is going to deal with a lot of our business courses that we have here, um, kind of a business track. So if you've taken career clusters with me in sixth grade, this is kind of maybe an extension of that, um, but just focusing on those business pathways. So some of the things we're going to be doing are going to be general management skills, some human resource things, some administrative support, um, and just basically overall leadership skills and communication skills. So again, this class is for eighth graders and it is called Introduction to Business Management management and administration. Hope to see you guys in there. There are some classes that you cannot repeat. If you've already taken any of the following CTE classes, it cannot be repeated. However, we recommend that you sign up for the next level of that class. For example, 
If you've taken Intro to AV Arts, then you would sign up for Digital Media, the high school class. If you've already taken Exploration of Robotics, then you would sign up for Foundations of Robotics. That's a high school class as well. Paw Pals is a high school semester course in which students are peer helpers who assist students in special needs classes. Tasks will include practicing skills with students in the areas of reading, math, PE, art, socializing, and organizing. Select students will also assist special needs students in Special Olympics. Students will earn a semester high school credit. In order to be in this class, you must have an FSA reading level 3 or higher, C's are better in all classes, be a role model for student behavior, be able to follow directions easily, be willing to talk with staff and students that are unknown, and have recommendations from your grade level counselor, along with good attendance and no discipline referrals. Hi, rising eighth graders. If you have great grades and good attendance, Jack Patrol may be a great course for you. It is a high school credit course where you will take the peer counseling high school class and also work in our front office. This is a course where you can learn great communication and leadership skills as you serve as an office assistant, give new students tours of our school, and help out different staff members at SSMS. If you're interested in this course, please fill out the application that's located on your course card. So students, some of you are interested in the leadership class or Paw Pals or Jag Patrol. So if that is something that you are interested in, you must fill out an application for that class. And you can find those applications using the QR codes that are right there on your course card. So you can either use your phone or a friend's phone or you can use an iPad in the teacher's classroom to access that application through the QR code. Students, let's review the front of your course card together. You will need to neatly print the information requested on your card. Now moving to the left side of the sheet, we start with the required courses for all middle school students, language arts, math, science and social studies. Now we're moving down to semester elective classes. You will be able to choose from three different combinations of courses. Students have the option of two year long electives or one year long elective combined with two semester electives or you can choose four semester electives. Please listen to this part closely. Your goal is to choose enough electives to fill two class periods. If you see a 0.5 in parentheses, that indicates a semester long course that must have another 0.5 elective to fill a class period. If you see 1.0 in parentheses, that indicates a year long course that fills an entire class period. To make your requests, place an X on your selections to indicate your preferences for next year's electives. SSMS offers students 11 to 13 semester long electives to choose from. Remember to pair up two semester electives to fill a class period. Now we're moving over to the middle column. Please be advised that all students are required to take one semester of PE every year. If choosing electives other than PE, a PE waiver is required to be completed by the parent on the back of this form. Please be aware that completing a PE waiver does not guarantee that your student will not be scheduled into a PE course. Now move over to our year-long electives. SSMS offers students 10 to 12 year-long electives to choose from. Please make note that students requesting two year-long electives from the list above must have a parent or guardian sign the PE waiver on the back of this form. Now let's move over to the right column, where you select your core classes. Enter an X beside your preference for grade level, advanced, or accelerated academic courses. Please remember that your current teachers will be able to recommend which level to select. Here's an example of a student requesting four semester long courses. See how there are four X's in the column. So, this student is requesting four of our point five classes to fill two elective periods. Your card may not be exactly like this example, but you fill out the form the same way if you're choosing four semester electives. Here's an example of a student requesting one year long course and two semester courses. See how there are three X's in two columns. So, this student is requesting one 1.0 and two of our point five classes to fill two elective periods. Your card may not be exactly like this example, 
but you fill out the form the same way if you're choosing one year long and two semester electives. Here's an example of a student requesting two year long courses. See how there are two X's in the middle column. So, this student is requesting two 1.0 classes to fill two elective periods. Your card may not be exactly like this example, but you fill out the form the same way if you're choosing two year long electives. It is important both you and your parent or guardian sign and date the form before turning it in. Please be advised that classes are offered on the basis of the choices that you make. Due to our high student enrollment, students are not guaranteed their elective preferences. Schedule changes will not be made because you decide that you do not want to take a course any longer. Please choose wisely as you will be taking the classes that you select. Students. Please turn your card over to review the PE waiver statement on the left side of the sheet. This is signed only if you are requesting courses other than PE or if you are requesting two year-long electives next year. Now move over to the right side in the middle of the page. We believe that with the right supports, all students have the ability to meet high academic standards through challenging coursework. Your current math teacher will recommend your math level, so please talk with your teacher about next year's math options. Placement in accelerated, advanced, honors, and high school level classes will be based on FSA and NWEA test results, grades, academic history, attendance, parent input and teacher recommendation. If you decide to take accelerated 7th math, pre-algebra, or Algebra 1 honors math course during the summer, you must sign up using Pasco eSchool in March and successfully complete the course by August 1st. Here's a quick note about course recovery for 8th grade students. Students are required to successfully complete three years of language arts, mathematics, science and social studies. Students who do not receive passing grades in their four core content classes will be placed in the academic learning lab for course recovery. Schedule changes will not be possible once enrolled due to class size mandates and end of course requirements. Please use the QR code to view everything related to 7th and 8th grade course cards and applications. We know a lot of information has just been shared with you. You can watch this video on our SSMS website by clicking the course card tab. There's also a description of every elective that we offer at Seven Springs in detail. Students, please notice the due date for your course card. That is the date that you must have it turned back into your science teacher's class with your parent's signature on it and your choices for electives for next year. So when you go to turn it into the classroom, you will place it into the folder for your period and you will check off your name so that we will know that you have indeed turned yours in.